an overwhelming vote for the opposition, bringing to an end more than half a century of one-party rule. DPJ candidate Kaida Banri defeated Japan's finance minister, who had held his Tokyo seat for more than four decades. I want to make a better society for Japan, to make citizens feel more comfortable. I look at August the 30th as a new start. Across the country, seats formerly held by the ruling Liberal Democratic Party fell. The victory absolute and overwhelming. From the DPJ's leader, Yukio Hatoyama, the man likely to be the future Prime Minister of Japan. Only humble words. We don't think this is just a victory for the Democratic Party of Japan, but a victory for the people. We feel the people are very angry about the current national situation. In defeat, Taro Aso, who served only as Prime Minister for one year, took sole responsibility and vowed to step down as leader of his party. I feel very responsible for the result. I am very disappointed as we are only halfway through our economic reforms. I believe people are very dissatisfied with the economy and we could not regain their trust. The DPJ is promising to make good on their pledges of taking on the bureaucracy, of cleaning up government waste, and most importantly, of improving the country's ailing economy. All monumental tasks. But analysts remain optimistic. Every year, cutting through that line, stirring things up, I think is going to create some animal spirits here in Japan that are going to make Japan very interesting again. For now, it is simply a time to celebrate. The hard work can be left for the days ahead. Steve Chow, Al Jazeera, Tokyo.